All right, guys, welcome to the 2020 Minecraft VR guide for the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Go. There's been a few changes, a few improvements, a few workarounds. Let's check it out. All right, guys, the first thing you're going to need to do is buy Minecraft VR if you don't already have it and then get the APK. I've got a video right up here. Also in the video description, there's a link. Uh, go check that out and then come back for the rest of this. All right, guys, one way you can improve performance on Minecraft VR on your Quest or your Go is you can disable 3D rendering. Now, it's disabled by default. So if you have it enabled, you can try disabling it. And the Quest is actually stronger than the Go, so it, it plays nicer on the Quest, but you can still it still plays really decently on the Go. So if you disable the 3D rendering it's much smoother another thing you can do and i also do this because i get tired of looking up and down with my head is just play in the virtual room that you start out in just play in the virtual room and so you have like your virtual screen right in front of you and just play with your joystick your gamepad what i do is i you know you can just use this to look up and down instead of looking down and looking up which after a while i'm just like i don't want to do that so that's a lazy way of doing it, but it improves performance as well. Also remember for the Oculus Go and the Oculus Quest, if you want to pair a gamepad, just go to the settings and go to experimental, the experimental part of the settings and then click on pair and just put your device in pairing mode and then you can pair it with your Quest or your Go and you can use that to play Minecraft. All right, multiplayer. So I have a video up here on how to play it, get multiplayer going on the on the on Minecraft VR. But I've get I've been getting a lot of people like confused about it or saying it's not working. And I think what they're doing is they're getting things out of order. And I may not have known that there was a specific order in that video. So here's how to do it. You have to first of all, there is an Xbox Live app that is not listed, but you can get. It's an official app, but it's no, it won't come up if you do a search for it. I have a direct link to it in the video description. Click on it, it's free. Buy it, you know, you click, just click on free and then it says you purchased it. It'll be in your account. So this way, when you sideload the APK, which I will also link in the video description, it will show up in your library. It won't just be in your like unknown sources. So it'll show up in your library as an official app. And so launch the Xbox Live app sign in there first and make sure you click on let's play after you sign in you have to click on let's play otherwise if you just back out of it right after you sign in this won't work so sign into it click on let's play then just go to minecraft vr then there'll be like a button in the lower left hand corner click on like login or something like that xbox live login Le up lower left hand corner and then it will query your account information from the xbox live app it'll just take a few seconds and then it'll be logged in. You can see any friends you have online. You can join realms. Uh, you can access any of the market content that you've purchased. You can't make purchases this way, but you can access anything you've bought in the Minecraft market. So if you have any questions about that, that should answer. You shouldn't, there shouldn't be any other questions. Another thing about multiplayer I'd like to point out is it's really cool because it's cross-platform. I mean, you can play in Minecraft VR multiplayer with somebody who's on a PS4, an Xbox, a computer, not the Java version, but the Bedrock version, or a, a, an Apple iOS phone or an Android phone or tablet. So you could be in Minecraft VR and you have a friend who just has it on a phone, has Minecraft PE, and you can still totally play with them. Or if they have a PS4 or an Xbox or or even a Nintendo Switch. It's cross-play with Nintendo Switch. All right, now this next one I'm super excited about because I have modified a file to work for Minecraft VR and I'm gonna put a link to it in the video description for you guys to use. I hope you guys like it. I freaking love it. Now, if you're into Minecraft, you might know that Minecraft PE, you know, Minecraft on your phone, uh, it has, you can get side load, not side, you can get third party apps that will like load textures or mods and things like that, right? But they don't work for Minecraft VR. Well, I played around with some of them to, and I've edited one that I got working great for Minecraft VR that you can side load onto your Quest or your Go and then access it through your unknown sources. It's called Modmaster. 
Now, now it's a one that my son tells me about. He's all he does all this Minecraft stuff. He's like, Dad, I'm using it. I'm I I found this awesome skin on Modmaster. I found this mod on Modmaster. This these texture packs on Modmaster. It has everything. So, um, what you have to do is you sideload Modmaster and then you launch Modmaster, and you can select all different kinds of things that you want. There's mods. There's texture packs. There are So many different things. And then you just click on it. You tell it you want to load it or whatnot and download it and get it. The same way you would do it for Minecraft PE on your phone. And then you click on, I think it's like launch or open. And then it will open Minecraft VR, but it's trying to load Minecraft VR in like the same window so you don't see anything it's just blank but you will hear like a little clink sound like saying that it's importing something like if you do this on your phone you know what it's saying like the notification comes down in minecraft and it says oh it's loading this texture pack or loading this mod or whatever it is and then another clink sound will come down saying if it's been successful or not and uh sometimes it has a third clinking sound like if it's there's been an error loading it or if there's a duplication um so what you have to do is you you go ahead and attempt to load the mod you fire up mod master you select what you want you say to open the mod or install the mod and you your the screen goes away and you just are in your home environment and you hear the clink sometimes you have to wait like a good 30 to 60 seconds sometimes it's like did my device just freeze up but it's actually just doing something and uh, then you'll hear the cl first clink and then a few seconds later you hear the second clink and i always wait like maybe five to ten seconds see if there's a third clink and if not then you just have to go back to unknown sources and launch Modmaster if you want to install some other kind of like mod or texture pack. And after you're done, when you try to open up Minecraft VR, it'll still be thinking that it's open. So when you launch it, it'll like try to launch it and it'll launch weird and it won't actually show up and it'll like close. So you have to like launch it twice because again, it thinks it's being launched within that 2D screen, that virtual 2D screen. So anyhow, um, but then when you do launch it, all your mods, whatever you installed from Modmaster. Modmaster is amazing. It has tons of different texture packs. It has mods. It has different worlds. It has different seeds. It has so many things and it's so nice. I do have a video on how to install like texture packs and mods and stuff in Minecraft VR. And it's still a great video. It still works. But I think this makes it so much easier in my opinion. So you guys check it out. Let me know if you have any questions about that. I hope you like it. All right, now fixing the controls. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have noticed, but with some update of Minecraft VR, when you fire it up, like the controls don't work anymore. Like one of them works, but the other one doesn't. It's, it's like, wait, what? Like, what? Take the batteries out of the, your Quest controllers, and then it works. So I don't know which update caused this problem, but that's what you gotta do. Now, you have to use this. This is the right controller. Push this in to enter into the world uh, if you don't want to just play it in the virtual screen Do that first and then you can take the batteries out So I don't know if that's an issue with the quest. Uh, I mean with the go because the go has got a different uh, Controller, so I'm gonna Check it out right now and let you know. All right, so it does turn out that on the Oculus go It does turn out that on the Oculus go you do have to take the battery out of the controller in order to use the the turning part of, of the gamepad um, but what also I just found out is that there's no way to get into the world on the oculus go it says tap the touchpad to change perspective and normally that would bring you into the world like pressing down on this on the oculus quest does it doesn't so you're stuck with like the screen in front of you the virtual screen which um, you know is one way to have better performance I know it's not being as immersed but um, yeah, if I find a, a way around that or a workaround, I'll put an update in the video description. So if anybody else knows anything about that, let me know. But uh, it doesn't seem like there's a fix for that right now. All right, guys, thanks for watching this. That concludes the 2020 Minecraft VR guide for the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Go. 
I hope you really like the Mod Master mod I made for the Quest and the Go. I find it super useful. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it makes browsing uh, mods and texture packs and skins so much easier and worlds. My eight-year-old loves getting into the different mods like he has Doctor Strange mods or in like Infinity War mods stuff like that. I'm way more into the texture packs. Um, he's always showing me cool mods. He's like, hey dad, check out this mod and we'll play. And uh, It's a lot of fun. Like there's this one mod where you can like, you hold like a shrinking disc. I guess it's probably like an Ant-Man mod and you shrink and then we'll play hide and go seek. Literally, we'll play hide and go seek. One of us will shrink and I guess if you crouch, you can't see your name tag. So one of us hides in a village and then the other one goes and tries to find them. It's a lot of fun. Hide and seek in Minecraft VR is crazy fun. That's how you do it. So, all right, if you have any other questions, let me know. If you have any other comments, let me know. I uh, hope you guys find this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please remember to subscribe. Uh, I know I'm super sporadic on uploading, but I got a lot of stuff that I like to do this and that and then this again. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. So, all right, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.